You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Benny. It's the video that went around the world. Donald Trump walking in like a conquering G into UFC 295 with Kid Rock and Tucker Carlson, Don Jr., Dana White, and every single fighter giving the man mwah, credit and 20,000 people inside of Manhattan Island, Madison Square Garden, cheering for Donald Trump at the top of their lungs. Oh, baby. And it was a beautiful sight to behold. There's no stopping this man, but as proof that wokeness destroys the mind, body, and soul and allows you to not be able to read the room, there is one person in the audience who wasn't particularly excited about Donald Trump's appearance at the event. That person is someone named Nina Renee Hill. Who, who's Nina Renee Hill? Who the hell is that? Never heard of that person before. She seems pretty irrelevant. Yeah, she is, except for she's married to Bill Burr. Donald Trump walked into an arena that holds 20,000 people in 19,999. We're so happy. And there's Bill Burr's wife, as you can see right there, flipping off Donald Trump as Bill Burr stares the other direction. <laughs> Dude, Bill Burr is cucked. What a simp. Check this out. Nina, Nia Renee Hill. Always, always a warning sign when the wife won't take the last name. Doesn't take the last name Burr. I wonder why. Donald Trump flipped off by Bill Burr's wife. Bill Burr's wife, actress, Nina Renee Hill. What has she been an actress in exactly? Well, we can't really figure it out. <laughs> she didn't, she's never been an actress in any movie you've ever seen, but she's an actress, of course. She's acting as a wife to Bill Burr, but not doing a great job. Caught flipping off a former President Donald Trump, middle fingers at the Ultimate Fighting Camp Championship, Madison Square Garden. An avid UFC fan, Trump entered the arena to loud ovations. He was flanked by Kid Rock, Tucker Carlson, Dana White, and Don Jr. Quite the crew. Arena cameras panned to him. And in the background, Hill, 54, by the way, not Burr, but Hill, didn't take your husband's last name. There's the first sign of problems. Can be seen raising her middle fingers to his back as he sits, uh, as she sits in her seat. Uh-oh. Trump seemed utterly clueless about the gesture and couldn't care less because she is an irrelevant, woke, seething, intersectional feminist nightmare who has destroyed her once funny comic husband and has ridden the coattails, of course, of his career. And now people online, including celebrities that know Bill Burr, are saying that they know that, well, the two of them are going to be getting divorced. Now we can... We can show you some of the uh, potential breadcrumbs for that narrative here, but it's worth noting that uh, Bill Burr, you would assume, would take his wife home after that and be like, what the hell is wrong with you? You just made me a cuck, a simp on national TV, and you reduced our potential earnings by 50% or more because there are 100 million Trump supporters in this country. Probably more than that. There's 75 million people that'll show up and cast a ballot for Donald Trump, and you just flipped all them off. Wow, I didn't know that Bill Burr was married to Letitia James, <laughs> says Jack. Oh, man, to, like, find the lie. Find the lie. Woof, Bill, your girlfriend. Oh, my God. Look at the lines. Look at the lines. Straight up and down. Look at the, look at the bent, subservient, simpy lines. By the way, Nia Renee Hill uh, is someone who hates Donald Trump. God, I hope Trump gets coronavirus, she tweets from her Twitter account. Oh, good. All right. Oh, there you go. Okay, got it. Fantastic. Uh, what Actor, writer, producer, director. <laughs> Have you ever, can, can you name anything that she's been an actor, writer, producer, or director in? Hmm. Okay, got it. Also in her uh, Instagram over here, she has her pronouns. She, her. So pronouns and bio, didn't take her husband's last name, warning signs like crazy on this one. Getting, definitely getting the Will Smith vibes on this. Definitely getting the Will Smith cucked vibes here. And uh, men, be careful. This is the worst decision you can possibly make. Guys, one of the many lessons 
Bill Burr's wife flipping off President Trump. Do not marry toxic, woke nightmares unless you want your life to be a living hell. You know who says his life is a living hell? Bill Burr. Check out some of his comedy, comedy, which seems a lot more like a uh, spoken word cry for help. Playing next to God, I'm feeling a little nauseous. This is a little bit much for me. And she's just laying down and I'm just feeling this feeling, not feeling loved, profound sense of loneliness. So now I'm just looking at my wife. My brain just starts going like, oh, f did I marry the wrong person? <laughs> Why am I looking at, I know that seems f***ed up, but once you're married long enough, even not on mushrooms, you have that thought every f***ing six weeks. You just do. Something happens where you just look at the side of their head and just do the math and just think, why did I ever talk to you? Why didn't, I could have just walked by. I didn't have to say hello. We had no relationship. We, we, we were nothing. Why did I ever talk? What, what, what would happen if I just never talked to you? Every six weeks, you think that's a healthy relationship. That means you still held on to a part of yourself. That even though you love this person, you know, you still, you, you know, you still want to run around like a Mustang a little bit, right? Mm hmm. Bill Burr's comic bits about being henpecked were funny until last night. That's really his life. He's not doing jokes. He's doing a spoken word cry for help. <laughs> yeah. Careful, men. Careful. This is what takes down men. Good men. Funny men. Strong men. It's always the wrong choice. And the most important choice you can ever make. I'm going to tell my kids this is Bill Burr and his wife. <laughs> LaFonta. <laughs> All you need to know about Bill Burr and Nina Renee Hill. Nia Renee Hill. I don't care what her name is. Look at that. <laughs> green line test. The green line test. Shame. There you go. There's your test. When a man leans into his girl, it reveals that he feels needy or lower in value. He reveals that he has a weak mindset and that he feels dependent on her. Green line theory. There it is. <laughs> ah, yes. So humiliating. What's this? Oh, it's Bill Burr saying that his wife censors his jokes. That he lets his wife pick his jokes. Yeah, no, she's the best. Okay. She's a saint and she puts up with me. Mm. And uh, I actually you, run jokes by her. Do you really? Yeah. Like, should I say this? Is this going to, you know, nowadays there's always that. Should I? It's so weird now. You want to know what that looks like? Right here. I'm beginning to think Bill Burr's wife may wear the pants in the relationship. <laughs> this is so sad. Look at so what some of the other comics have been saying. Man, he's not doing jokes. He's doing a spoken word cry for help. Isn't that, tr isn't that so true? Some of these other comics here, uh, this guy uh, used to, perform with Bill Burr and is a really funny comedian. I certainly learned what an overbearing POS this woman was years ago when she made Bill cut all ties with me. Don't be fooled by this tough guy persona. This woman runs every aspect of his life. Notice how his comedy has changed since he's been with her. Well, let's go ahead and check in on Bill Burr's comedy. I got it really into vaccines during COVID. I can't stop getting them now. <laughs> Do they make, hey, do they I make just you got the shingles one? I got my second one. Do they make you? Uh, do they make you sick? The shingles one. The first time I felt a little uh, weird, and uh, and then the second one, I, I had a little bit of a headache yeah. the next day. But like to not have like shingles, whatever. The f are. I got something worse than shingles for you. I got I I got, I, ladies and gentlemen, I got something that'll that'll absolutely cause you great pain right there right meow marrying the wrong person by the way it's broken bill burr here's bill burr tweeting i don't i didn't know they sold masks in florida good to see careful you marry bill burr so funny so funny i got lots of vaccines and to look out for your best interests and trying to get 400 million people to all pull in the same direction. It's, 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 you can't get 40 comics to pull in the same direction. So they like, did. they have like an impossible, they did and they didn't. There was, there was people fucking right the whole fucking time. There's been fucking assholes on my street walking around, no masks. No you masks. Know, not quarantining like the people that come by the houses. You see the fucking, you know, the same people that were going in and out of the house who are not part of their family still going in and out of the house. You want people to walk down the street with a mask on? Let's not start this, job. Do you, though? <laughs> <laughs> what a cut, bitch. <laughs> a pilper. Such a tough guy on stage. Such a tough guy. Yeah. It was all a cry for help. 
Bill Burr is going to get divorced once the youngest kid is past about eight. Mark my words, those of us in the space watching how these things go already know it already. It's insane how recognizable the pattern is and how predictable it all is. Sad for him. Wow. Well, I mean, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, listen, I got to tell you, this doesn't like, like this doesn't look like a happy man. This looks like a man who's in pain. And by the way, this isn't a healthy way to act. This is not a healthy person. And I got just one final little thing to say on this, which is uh, why doesn't this happen to Joe Biden at sporting events? Well, you see, here's the deal is that you have to have a little bit of confidence to walk into a room of 20,000 people knowing that there's going to be maybe half of them that don't like you. Even if it's 5,000 people who don't like you in that room, that's still a chance for you to get booed or for you to get cheered or for someone to flip you off, right? That takes self-confidence. At least Trump has the confidence to walk into a sporting event. What was the last sporting event Joe Biden was welcome to? What was the last sporting event that Joe Biden went to? Name one. Name one. Have you ever seen Joe Biden ringside anywhere? or uh, standing on the field, Donald Trump went out and walked out in front of the national championship field for the college national championship, 2019, I believe. I mean, it was an epic event. I've never seen anything like it. Donald Trump goes to Daytona 500, NASCAR. Donald Trump avails himself because he is a man of the people. At the very least, like, and, and being in the arena means that you're gonna, t people are gonna be mean to you. People are gonna do things uh, stupid things like this, they're going to show how small they are. And all that doesn't show how big you actually are and how utterly cucked people like Bill Burr is. What a simp. What a sad little man. And what a, what a, what a, what a, what a deeply, deeply, like you, you, you almost feel sorry for him. But then again, you don't actually. A lot of comics are self-loathing and a lot of these people are, um, un like, make unhealthy choices, right? You can follow the the life and career of Robin Williams. You can you can see that. It's beloved. I love Robin Williams. But like the man made unhealthy choices and made really bad personal choices. That's the sort of the tragedy of comics and all comedy really is spawned from pain, personal pain. That's where all good comedy comes from. I don't know who I'm paraphrasing there, but it, comics will all tell you this. Like tragedy is what begets good comedy. And this man's marriage is a tragedy. And now he's <laughs> lost probably half of his potential future net worth. So I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it. Nina Renee Hill with an accent mark. Hope it was worth it. Or should I say La Fonda? <laughs> now that's comedy like share and subscribe for more uh where that came from bill burr getting divorced will smith 2.0 yeah that's what it sounds like smack